Now, the U.S. Air Force has conducted the first in a series of tests on a new gravity nuclear bomb. Tests assess the weapon's non-nuclear functions and its capability to be dropped by F-16 jet fighters. Bomb codenamed B-6112 is planned to replace the current generation of the United States nukes. Weapon is planned to enter service in 2020. A nuclear re uh, first refurbishment plan was uh, first introduced in 2013 but was delayed due to its heavy cost. Nuclear test comes after the U.S. field tested the largest non-nuclear bomb ever on Afghanistan on Thursday, drawing massive criticism. U.S. Uh, President Donald Trump has vowed to build up the military capability of the nation. He's proposed a $54 billion spending hike for the current year. Joining us uh, for more on the story out of Oakland, California, is uh, Jackie Cabasso, Executive Director of Western States Legal Foundation. Hello, Jackie, and thanks for joining us on the program. Now, your thoughts, please, on this U.S. policy of do as I say, not as I do, as, as the country is willing to practically go to war now with North Korea over the same exact uh, issue, and it's willing to sanction other countries for developing missile programs, not even nuclear-related. Your thoughts on this? Well, obviously, it's a, a, a case of a grotesque double standards and hypocrisy. Uh, no question about that. But I do want to distinguish this particular drop test from the recent uh, missile strikes on on Syria and the uh, humongous bombing in uh, Afghanistan recently, which are very sudden developments and extremely alarming. While the drop test of this modified nuclear weapon is of great concern, it is part and parcel of a long-term ongoing program of modernization of U.S. nuclear weapons that includes all of the bombs all the delivery systems and the infrastructure to sustain them. And as Donald Trump took office, he inherited a projected plan from President Obama to spend a uh, billion dollars over the next 30 years on this maintenance and modernization program. The program itself actually was begun under Bill Clinton um, in connection with developing alternative methods for testing nuclear weapons under a prospective uh, comprehensive test ban treaty. So what we're seeing is the um, continuation of a long-term program to maintain and modernize nuclear weapons by the United States, which continues to most regrettably rely on nuclear weapons as the official cornerstone of its national security policy, and which indeed manifests a do-as-I-say, not-as-I-do policy with respect to certain other countries. And Jackie, that, that mother of all bombs that was used in Afghanistan, I mean, I, as big as a bomb, a 10-ton bomb, as you know, is the biggest non-nuclear uh, bomb in the U.S. arsenal. Now, a nuclear, conventional nuclear bomb is one one thousandth more lethal than that bomb. Why does the U.S. or any country, for that matter, need a bomb of that magnitude? Well, I don't think that any country should have a bomb of that mag magnitude. In fact, you know, I'm at the opposite end of the spectrum. I would like to see all armies abolished and no more uh, wars of any kind. Um, there's no justification for it except to, uh, as a tool of, of, of uh, dominance and intimidation, which threatens the well-being of ordinary people wherever they are. Well, thank you for joining us, uh, Jackie Cabasso, Executive Director of Western States Legal Foundation, joining us out of Oakland, California.